Born into a blessing and a curse, the trappings of royal privilege come with the trap of the spotlight. From this moment, Harry's life has been watched and judged, and he's never felt the media played fair. The media were always there when he went to school with, with his mother. Um, there was a famous picture many, many years ago when Harry was very small, sticking his tongue out, and his mother admonished him for that. The reason he stuck his tongue out, the media were the other side of the road, sticking their tongue out at him in order to get a reaction. And he's, he's grown up with the media. They've always been there. Photographers have always been there. And with what happened to his mother in 1997, he's sort of done a complete turn and blames the media for what happened to her. The two brothers have shouldered grief together and the burden of royal duty. The siblings were a double act. Harry's decision to break free, to live at least in part abroad, is momentous. Unsettling, but at least in part a product of royal destiny. The boy who would not be king had more freedom than his brother. Freedom to make mistakes, be seen drunk, get in a tussle with a photographer, but also to strike out and pursue a military career. That rounded him with a glimpse of life outside the bubble. It didn't change his views on the media. Everyone's guilty for buying the newspapers, I guess, but um, hopefully no one actually believes what they read, <laughs> um, which I certainly don't. But yeah, of course, of course I read it. If there's a story and something's being written about me, I want to know um, what's being said. Um, but it, all it does is just upset me and anger me that people can get away with writing the stuff they do. He was sometimes playful with the press pack, <laughs> but often abrupt and suspicious. Why well, it's important for you to come here and talk to them? Don't behave like this. Love and marriage would only enforce his mistrust. You cannot always have positive coverage, um, and I think that there has been some justified criticism um, in the press, particularly in the British press. Um, you know, the obvious example is Prince Harry and Meghan Markle being these eco warriors and preaching about climate change, and then jumping on and off private jets. That doesn't sit well with the British public, and that's the sort of behaviour that the British press is going to hold them to task over. The Sussex's new website explains they're revising their approach to media, withdrawing from dealing with royal correspondence. But can they achieve this and still perform any royal duties? Just one of many outstanding questions. Where is the balance for them when it comes to performing this public role and also having a life outside of that? This could be a blueprint for future generations as we look to a new era, potentially with a more streamlined monarchy, perhaps Princess Charlotte, Prince Louis. This is a model that they could adopt, which is another reason why it's really important for them to get this right. Son of the people's princess, will he become the Instagram prince? He wants to focus on his new family, but to maintain any public role within the royal family, the arrangement has to be one that the British public can accept. Jason Farrell, Sky News.